Next tonight, the radical NHS diet being trialled in the East Midlands, which could help patients beat potentially life-threatening diabetes. Karen Bradbury from Derbyshire lost almost six stones after going on the strict 12-week regime earlier this year. And the biggest prize, her type 2 diabetes, has gone into remission. Our health correspondent Rob Sissons reports. What a difference seven months has made. This is how Karen in Derby used to look. She prefers not to say how much she weighed after being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. But needless to say, she says she's lost six stone nearly. In the first 12 weeks, um, it's shakes and soups only, 800 calories a day. So each one's 200 calories. You have four a day. Um, and, yeah, you just drink black tea and coffee with sweeteners and diet drinks and that's, that's it. And it's down to this, she says, the NHS soups and shakes diet, kick-starting a new lifestyle. Here being demonstrated by the GP who oversees the programme in Derbyshire, involving a strict 12-week diet before solid foods reintroduced. Well, it's 200 calories per, per shake, so you've got 800 in a day with your four shakes. So a woman would normally consume 2,000 calories, a man 2,500. So that's a big deficit, so that's why people are losing weight. And the fat just disappears from their liver, from their pancreas, and they just start working again. Now, after the 12 weeks, there's online support and ongoing monitoring, but Dr Owen stresses it's not for everyone. What we're finding is if people can lose more than two stone, nearly everybody, when they get diabetes diagnosed, can then get rid of their diabetes and get it into remission. So what I'd say to people is it doesn't matter how you lose your two stone. It might be through changing your diet, it might be through exercise, or it might be through this low-calorie diet. The important thing is lose the two stone and say goodbye to your diabetes. Karen's now said hello to a new wardrobe of clothes and goodbye to type 2 diabetes and the risk of going on medication. It's a challenge. I, I can't pretend it was easy in the beginning, but it gets easier and the, the results outweigh the hard work, definitely. Is it a worry that Christmas is coming and there's lots of food there? <laughs> um, I don't think so. I think because of what we've learnt along the way with the plan, you can plan and still have some treats, but keep in control as well. In the East Midlands, the programme is only currently available in Derby and Derbyshire on the NHS. People have to have had diabetes type 2 for no more than six years and be under 65 years old. Karen's hoping when fully evaluated, it'll be rolled out across the NHS. Well, Rob is with us now. Nearly six stone. That's an astonishing achievement, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, Karen's so proud of what she's achieved. It doesn't mm. work for everyone, this. I mean, and other diets are available, of course. <laughs> yeah. But the NHS has pinned its colours to this. It's testing it out in Derbyshire. Diabetes costs the NHS about 10% of its budget related to type yeah. 2 diabetes. So it's a big area. What happens, though, once the soups and the shakes finished? Is there a danger that you would just put the weight hey, back on? Hey, I mean, a lot of us have been on a diet and we know what happens, don't we? <laughs> yep. You put it back on. But um, they reckon that with this year of supervision that you get and support groups through uh, remote uh, over the internet, mm. that people do a lot better. Now, we've been talking to Diabetes UK, the national charity today, and they say this has been piloted in 10 areas of England and they are supportive of it. They are supported to lose weight. They have a good chance of managing their diabetes well, uh, coming off medications, and in many cases, uh, putting their diabetes into remission. So it's, it's a very good pilot program that the NHS is embarking on. And of course, it isn't for everyone, is it? Because soups and shakes, that must be quite difficult. But if people fancy it, can they actually get this on the NHS outside of Derbyshire? Not outside of that area because it's being piloted in mm. Derby and Derbyshire. It's got another couple of years to run and then they'll evaluate it and it could be scaled up. So watch this space. OK, Rob, thank you.